do, 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 do. Welcome to Leaf and Spirit. My name is Vince. Today we're going to go over pipe tobacco. This is CAO's Eileen's Dream, a nice aromatic. Uh, made by the, the big, huge conglomeration of STG, the Scandinavian Tobacco Group, which makes a lot. That's <laughs> A lot of a lot of the uh, tobaccos that I smoke, at least. Uh, it's uh, supposed to have black Cavendish. Uh, uh, I mean, and cigar leaf, which I'm not really sure what that means. I don't know what leaf of the of a cigar leaf they use, but in in Virginia's. So we're gonna and we're gonna pair it today's beverage. Johnny Walker. Red label, a blended scotch. Johnny Walker read a uh, blended scotch. It's a budget blended scotch. It's the lowest end Johnny Walker has. Johnny Walker has some amazing scotches. Now, Johnny Walker Red, I probably have only had in mixed drinks and stuff, so uh, might make some mixed drinks. Drinks might mix. Might make some mixed drinks. We have the lemons there. All right, uh, let's get started. First, let's give a pour. This is Johnny Walker, Red Label, blended scotch. Now this is going to be a high percentage uh, of grain alcohol. The column still alcohol made of, uh, you know, it's basically vodka. So, oh, there's a barley funk in there. The the new makey smell that uh, yeah that uh. Grain spirit smell. Of course, it's sweet. I think there's a little bit of, might be a little bit of peat on there, a little bit of smoke, uh, a lot of vanilla, and uh, fruits of some form, like dried fruits, I think, maybe. So, uh, yeah, it, it, not that bad. It just tastes young. It's uh, it's got the you know it's got a lot of uh, it's lot it's got a lot of grain alcohol in it. But all right, Eileen's dream. Uh, now it's a like I said, which is usually the case. It's it's a little damp coming uh, straight out of the tin, which is usually the case. Uh, of course, I put it on a paper towel. And, Set it in a warm place for a couple hours. Here on location in the adequate arena, got my fire dog bag. Put a link in the description if I can figure out how to do that. So, Uh, it's not that bad. Uh, it's scotch, so I'd rather have a cheap scotch than a uh, good Canadian. Just joking, just joking. I'm sorry. There's great Canadian whiskey out there. It's very sweet, desserty. <laughs> I don't know about uh, white truffles, but uh, it's definitely sweet. Irish cream, I don't know. It's creamy, I suppose. So. I'm going to live with it for a second. Mm. 
Johnny Walker. Big, huge name in uh, Scott. See, distilleries like uh, Johnny Walker, Dewar's, you know, Blended Scotch, they were shop owners. And uh, back then, uh, whiskey was sold out of the barrel. So you had to, you know, bring your own container or, you know, they would pour it right there. So it varied from barrel to barrel. Uh, a lot of funny things going on in the uh, whiskey industry. Uh, and Johnny Walker and like Dewar's, they were the first people to uh, actually buy barrels, taste barrels, blend barrels to try to get the same taste every time. That way, you know, you buy some whiskey off of Johnny Walker, tastes the same every time. So that's where the blending comes in. Now the uh, grain alcohol is just a cheaper way to make alcohol. It's going to be 40% anyway. And, you know, this uh, Johnny Walker is great in cocktails, man. Uh, Rob Roy is my favorite Scotch cocktail. We've got a little bit of peat in it. It might go good with a little bit of coke. Eileen's Dream. What a sweet combination. What a. Uh, uh, this is dessert. This is after dinner. No doubt. Maybe breakfast. Maybe, maybe early morning. With some uh, cafe americano and uh, some cream, or even a cappuccino. Came down to adequate arena because uh, I thought it was warm today, 45 degrees. <laughs> But uh, it is cold. It is still cold in here. It is 35 degrees inside the adequate arena. I mean, uh, this is a fortress. So this Eileen's Dream is very sweet. I get a little bit of a chocolate. Like a, a dry chocolate. And, but the smoke is very creamy. Yeah. yeah. Maybe like kind of like a hot chocolate. Or uh, there's a little bit of waxed nut on there somewhere. Some kind of nut. Some kind of tree nut, I don't know. Uh, I've looked up reviews, they say a coconut. I don't know if I get a coconut. But, you know, maybe an almond or, or a hazelnut or some kind of tree fruit like that. It's very mild. It's definitely a mild tobacco. Low nicotine. If you're looking for nicotine, this is not the way to go. But I try them a couple times before I show you guys. And I actually get my wife to walk in the room and smell and see if it's a wife approved, as uh, some people say. Uh, or, uh, you know, the ambiance of the room. How, you know, if it smells, it's going to drive people away. Kind of smoke it in a bar. Yeah, it's very light and sweet, and uh, uh, it's an aromatic, so if you like aromatics, this is one of the better aromatics I've tried, to tell you the truth. It's, it's, uh, it's very friendly, but like I said, it's very low nicotine, very low, uh, it's very mild, and uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't like the aromatics as much, you know, I'm a big fan of the uh, nightcap. I tried, and uh, the Danish blend was even a little too aromatic for me, but I 
I'm going to try to get into a little bit more Latakia-based uh, Turkish blends, maybe. Uh, I tried this Johnny Walker with the nightcap, actually. So, uh, and let, let you know, it went much better with the nightcap. The nightcap seemed to, uh, that smoke, the Latakia, kind of takes away the, that grain alcohol. This is a great budget whiskey, I'm telling you. I'm going to make a Rob Roy with this, so watch that. That's coming up uh, soon. I'm going to, maybe I can do that tomorrow. We're going to tape and have, we have a cigar tomorrow, uh, which I don't know when this is going to, these are going to come out. I'm going to try to keep them consistent uh, Friday mornings at uh, 9 o'clock for, uh, Friday mornings at 9 o'clock for the uh, cigars. And then uh, I'm going to try to do at least one pipe a month. And uh, there's going to be some uh, short documentaries, some editing things. That I'm just having fun learning how to edit videos. So. Yeah, I tell you what, man. Uh, this is uh, going to be uh, head and shoulders above... The blends that you buy in the cigar shops, where they where they blend these, uh, you know, these cheap aromatics and, and and high cabin dishes. And cabin dishes is great for a spice, for an additive, uh, for sweetness, and the pungent. But it's too much sugar. This does not burn hot. It is sweet. But it does not burn hot like uh, you know some. Uh, even what else I haven't done too many on this uh, but the um, the Captain Black which is definitely my uh, my choice for drugstore tobaccos Which I will review more of those, uh, just because, you know, the, like the half and half or the Prince Albert and a can, you know, because I, I want to do that. I want to do a joke about Prince Albert and a can. Hello, do you have Prince Albert and a can? Oh, yes, we do. Well, let him out. Bad jokes. I love bad jokes. I would rather be hunting too. <laughs> I um, I'm a big sportsman, love hunting, fishing. Uh, I'm a better hunter than I am a fisherman. My my fishing consists of a flask and uh, and a bobber sometimes, but uh, uh, I I enjoy being outside, I enjoy being around a fire, you know, all that stuff, cooking, barbecue. And we're trying uh, Johnny Walker. We're doing Johnny Walker Red today because I'm a big fan of Pipes and Tobacco. Uh, it's a great channel. Yawns over there at Pipe and Tobacco. What a cool dude. What a cool guy. And I've learned a tremendous amount off him just uh, binging his episodes. So uh, go check him out. And I can understand why. As far as price point, uh, you can't beat it for what you get. Uh, I'm a bigger fan of like a uh, Johnny Walker Black, and of course, you know, the Johnny Walker Blue Label is. I don't even know how much that costs. So editing vents. How much does a Johnny Walker Blue Label cost here in Pennsylvania? Editing vents here in Pennsylvania. Johnny Walker Blue goes for $250. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's why I've never tried Blue Label, I guess. Uh, but we will, eventually. Well, the poll's getting low. 
I guess it's time to throw some digits on this. So, uh, CAOs, Elaine's Dream. Nice aromatic. As far as this pairing goes, I'm going to give it a three out of three and a half out of five. So it's getting a little wet. And this pipe does get wet. This is a wet pipe. Love this pipe. And you just stick a pipe cleaner down there, suck up a little bit of that spit, a little bit of that moisture. 